Welcome to the video for the Core Space Shuttle. Um, I've got the two sheets here. This is without a doubt a complicated build. So this video is an absolute must have. Shall we see if we can turn this into this? Let's dive straight in. Okay, so here it is. This is what we're gonna be making. We're gonna be making this really, really cool shuttle. And um, it's got a uh, kind of a lift off top bit. Um, so you've got all the textures inside and you've got like a little cargo uh, access door at the back which you can pop into there like so and we've also got uh, a little cockpit area in here which you can see is got all the detailing in there um, and there's even a little chair here which you can you can pop out and put back in if you want to um, actually you know stand a miniature in there as it were so this is what we're going to be making and all of that happens from these two sheets here which is your main body of the ship and some side bits and bobs and pieces and then you've got wings and attachments and things now if you haven't assembled any of the other core space kind of coreness yet i would definitely recommend that you go and tackle those sheets first um, this is by far the um, the most complex um, uh, battle systems terrain uh, item that we have ever done. Okay, so this is going to require uh, a little bit more skill than your average stuff from battle systems, which is really, really, easy, really easy to assemble. So, looking at it sheet by sheet, first off, we've got this one here. Okay, and I'm just going to remove some of the things that are really not part of the, sh uh, the shuttle assembly. First of all, I've got this little counter at the top here, which is basically uh, a shuttle counter with the buy price and sell price on the bottom for using with the rules of the game. And once you've got the shuttle, that belongs in your uh, your uh, main ship's cargo bay um, when you have bought that to allow you to establish that you can use the rules for the shuttle, okay? I'm then going to remove these counters. These game counters are really good for doing things like marking damage and um, and stuff like that, so that you can say, look, this has got this this has got three lots of damage before it can be destroyed, or um, you can mark positive and negative, I guess, spinning them over. You could use this as repair points. So this, I need to repair this three times. Right, I've hit it once. That's repair, repair, repair. Okay, it's repaired. So there's lots of cool things that you can do with those. I'll put that off to one side. So. That leaves us with this. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to remove the main body of this ship. It's got windows on it here, you can see. So you can have the windows in or you can leave the windows out. Personally, I prefer to take the windows out. Then uh, there's some little bits and pieces here. These are little holes. Along here, you've got lots and lots of sort of half cuts okay and in here you can see the internal textures so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first thing i'm going to do supporting the inside with my thumb making sure that i get a nice clean fold i'm just going to bend okay across here and across here uh, on the side um, there's a little bit of tension there but don't worry the internal parts will uh, will kind of hold that in place Okay, then at the front, you've got some more half cuts. Half cut here, it's very close to the window, so you're gonna need some, need to put some pressure on here to keep that nice. And finally, you've got another little half cut right at the top. And with this one, I'm gonna bend it just a little bit. Don't bend this one too far, just bend it kind of like that. And again, this is a tougher bend. Okay, so you're gonna need a lot of pressure on that. Okay, so you end up with something like that. And already you can see the shape of the shuttle is, is taking place. But we are far from finished on this one, okay? Like I said, this is complicated. I even brought a cup of tea to help me through this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, very nice, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so that's that first part. Moving ourselves back over to here, what we've got is we've got two side fronts of the ship, which is going to make this part and this part here. Uh, and then we've got 
like an internal strut, uh, it's like a brace for the ship. Uh, and we've got an internal part here, and on the other sheet, there's a door at the back as well. So we're gonna we're gonna pop those things in. I'm gonna take this part from sheet number two of two. Now, before you put these side bits in here, you want to decide how much of the interior detailing that you want. Okay, because inside here, there's an area for you to be able to put your, um, to put in things like this. Uh, there's like a computer console that can, that can kind of just sit in there. Um, and there's also a part that allows you to put the seat in that I showed you at the, the top of the video there. So um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just, whilst this is open, I'm going to show you how to do the seat part. Now, the seat part is on sheet one. So for the chair, you've got some half cuts at the back. Then you've got this little square here, which you'll notice has got a part that you can pop out. Okay, which is really cool. Um, and then you have got to um, grab these little bits here. And what you're going to do is you're going to assemble them onto the bottom of your chair like that. So you're gonna need a little bit of glue because this is like an extra detailing part, okay? Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make that little chair there. For all those with OCD like myself, we want the, the texture running in the same way, okay? So I'm gonna keep everything running in the same direction. I'm gonna remove that middle piece, keeping this basically, um, keeping this running the same direction. I'm then gonna grab my trusted glue. And I'm gonna put that on the top of there. And because I'm using super glue, the time it takes me to have a sip of tea. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, that, that will be fixed in place. Okay, um, let it fully dry, but when you're done, basically, um, that will fit back into there, like so. And um, once we stick this onto here, which we're gonna do now, you will have then the option of removing the seat so you can place a miniature inside and then putting it back for its detail, okay? In order to glue this down, you do not want to have this there at that particular point in time. So what you're gonna do, keeping everything exactly in the same direction so you know your chair will go in properly. I think that's probably enough and of course now you're never going to assemble the chair backwards this is locked in place so you can then pop that in and have the chair in or decide to have it out uh, I would leave that bit there don't put the chair in carry on with the assembly um, and then just um, wait until that fully dry just in case there's a little little, little, little nip of glue in there or something um, we don't want that to stick your chair in permanently okay um, so there you go I've, I've assembled that part there the next thing is I'm going to get a try, well basically, let's me move this out of the way. What I'm gonna do now is I'm, I'm gonna kind of assemble all these other parts that we pushed out. Uh, and it's kind of like a little a work. You have to work all the parts at the same time, so it's really tricky. So what I'm gonna do is there's some half bends in here, okay? Uh, and like the sides, they're kind of a tough half bend because I want them to stay strong. So just be careful of those windows. and that'll make my side parts. Okay, so I'm going to then see if I can kind of start to assemble this all. The one with the door is gonna be at the back of the ship with the, um, the hazard stripes facing inwards. And then this one here, it's, you wanna make sure you get this round the right way. I mean, it fits both ways, but um, there's an internal texture, which is all the pipe work, and there's an external texture, step texture, which is kind of like the intake vents. So you're gonna want you want that facing outwards, basically. Um, and you've got a little door here, which you can have in or out or whatever, um, which is really cool as well. Okay, and that is going to slot into here. Okay, um, and it's also going to slot from this bit here into some little slots that are in the bottom here. And all of these parts here locate within these little slots just in the bottom. So 
Um, that means that this wall goes at kind of an angle, like so. Okay, so, and I'll pop that in, and I'm just going to put it fully in so you can see. Um, I'll make sure that goes in there. There you go. You can see that that slots in there, and you've got this wall coming at kind of a steep angle, which is all part of the design. It's nice. Um, gives you that nice look from the inside. Okay, now um, putting that in fully means that it's then difficult to get these parts in. So you have to kind of do it one-sided, okay? Also, you've got this area, the, the, these bits here, um, these side parts. And with the side parts, they need to kind of slot in at the top and then work their way down into a slot at the bottom here. So just showing you this on this wall here while it's in, okay? We're going to we're going to slot that in the top. There's a little slot for it at the top, and then as we work our way down, as we slot that in, it slowly works its way down here, which enables you then to be able to um, I'll do this around the other way to pull that in tight to there. Okay, and you give it a bit of a pull, and you give that a little bit of a turn, and that lines up there. Okay, so that's kind of in. That's one side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ease out the other side again like so and I'm going to start putting in these other parts so first I'm going to move to this inner strut the detailing on the inner strut I just love the look of this um, once it's in um, so very carefully checking that slot yeah that slot's okay I'm going to pop that into there okay it's quite a tight fit there now the trick here is making sure that as you're pushing that down that you're locating the little bit at the bottom like that, so it just falls into there. You can see here, these two parts here are sticking through the bottom, which is really cool. Okay, so uh, that one's in on that side. We're gonna then move on to our door, keeping the hazards facing in at the back. At the back. Um, and again, I'm gonna slot that in at the top, like so, making sure at the same time, it's locating into the little little slot, the hole in the floor at the bottom. Okay, so there you have one side assembled. So the trick now is to get this located into here. Okay, um, so that it's all kind of you know in one go, as it were. So it's a little bit fiddly um, because you've got to also make sure that the these are locating in here. Also the delicate details of this middle strut. You don't want to bend this area here. So there's a little bit of jiggery pokery you're gonna you're gonna have to do. So starting with the forward, I just let that little just let that pop under there. And at the same time I work my way down and just line that up. Don't slot it in properly and line that up. And then I just keep lining everything up a little bit like so. Uh, and then you have to stop and check to make sure these are locating. So that one's not locating, it needs to be moved in a little bit. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna edge that one down a bit more and then I'm gonna edge this one down a little bit more and I'm gonna edge this one down a bit more, making sure that that locates and then put a little bit of pressure on there. Okay, which means that that's then moved in a little bit up here and then this one has gone back up so I need to push that back down again. Um, and then you start easing the wall upwards, the side wall upwards. Got a bit of a bend in that internal strut, but that's okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so there we go. What I've done there is I've managed to get that all in there, um, and got a little bit of a bend in here at the bottom. But what I'm gonna do is now that it's in, and I can see that these are all located across the bottom, I'm just gonna ease that straight with my fingers like so, it's not an actual kink, just a bit of a bend, and then that's evened that up, that's really cool. And what it does, it makes a really nice tight fit. So that should be, you know, no glue required there, nice tight fit. Okay, so last for the main part of the hole is I want to re I want to locate this the same as I did the other side by placing first this into the top slot here, and then locating that at the bottom. Now. At this point, if you want to assemble, including this really nice kind of um, internal computer 
uh, internal computer area here, um, you'll find that on sheet two of two as well, just here. Okay, so you can pop that off. And if you like, you could take that and you can put it in here and you can put a little bit of glue on one side just to locate it so it doesn't rattle around or whatever. Um, I don't think I did on this one. Uh, this one just rattles around inside. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that because it can't go anywhere once it's assembled. Okay, so I'm just going to hold that in place like that. Okay, and I'm going to take this. Uh, I'm trying to do this for the camera because I want, I want to block it with my hand. Uh, and I'm going to slot that side in as well. Now what you've got here, you've got some gap in here, around here. So in order to get that as close as possible, um, what we do is we, we just, and it's, you have to be careful with it, you just have to kind of uh, add some bend into, into this, okay? Um, and you can almost use this piece to push into that half cut to help you, which is pretty cool. Um, and you, it, you just keep, keep playing around with it until it gets closer and closer and closer. Um, what I've done with this one is once I've got it close, I've actually just popped a little bit of glue in there because obviously I'm not going to really want to be taking this apart. So, um, and I did that and I just put like, you know, a couple of elastic bands on it while it was drying. It super glue is pretty good. I just hold it and, it, and it's done anyway. Um, but, uh, but so yeah, you, you can basically do that um, and it kind of stays in place. And you just need a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there. What you don't want to do is you don't want to put any glue up here because you, you know, you might want to op have that open up and, you know, in and out. Um, and if you are going to glue it as well, you want to hold this in a position where you've got just a little bit of pressure against this and the top of that lip here. So that when you push that down, there's just a little bit of resistance there, okay, for closing the lid. Um, the and then when we put the top on you'll see that, that kind of keeps it in place a bit anyway okay so that is kind of the external whole part of the ship um, and probably the most trickiest part to get done okay so what you've got then is obviously you're going to want the you're going to want the wings on this uh this lovely shuttle um and also there are some other um the roof and some other cool bits that are options that you can put onto this shuttle. So for example, you can see here, if I turn this shuttle over, we've got these really cool little boosters, um, jet, intake, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're really good. You'll need a little bit of glue to put those on. I'll show you that. Um, and then for the roof, if you want to add um, some, uh, this detailing on the top, which for me is a must have, because it just, it just adds a little bit of cool shape to the top of the um, to to the shuttle, um, then of course um, you're going to require a little bit of glue for that as well. But I'll show you those. So let's just move off to one side for a second and grab the next sheet. Here you can see uh, um, I've got the wings. Uh, I'll leave the wings for the moment. We might as well put them on last. Um, I think I'm going to move while I've got lots of space here. I'm going to do these cool little. Um, turbine jet things we've got on here. These are pretty self-explanatory. Um, you've got a lot of half cuts in here, so it's a bit like the ground conduit from the core set. So when you end up with these two bits like this, um, all we've got to do is glue these parts in here and then glue it onto the ship. So I'm going to bring forth, so I don't damage my table, my little uh, my little uh, gluing cutting station. Uh, it's a mat, isn't it? It's what it is, it's a mat. Um, so uh, I'm just going to basically glue these in here. So then you hold that in place and then um, you uh, it will dry and lock in place. And we do the same with this one here as well. So what, because that's under a bit of pressure, I can stick maybe a rubber band around there or something to help hold it in place while I uh, just do this other one. Uh, yeah, done the same on there. One across here, one at a bit of an angle, so it's just staying nice and flush. I don't want I don't want these these internal bits kind of sticking up uh, this way uh, because I want to glue these sides onto the side of the shuttle without anything getting in the way. 
Um, and again, you can use an elastic band to hold that in place. So uh, while I've got this, I'm going to just pop a load of glue along here. Uh, and then underneath, I'm going to take that and I'm going to, there's sort of a bit of a gap there. I'm going to place it like that on the side. I'm going to hold it in place just for a few seconds. Make sure it's nice and level and you get this really cool kind of jet thing going on that side. So that's the one. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Uh, and the one thing you want to do as well is you want to make sure that, well, it doesn't really matter too much. You want to make sure you've got the text round the right way on this one. Uh, I should have put that one on that side so the text was facing up uh, the right way, which is kind of like that. But I am I am kind of rushing this a little bit. Okay, so what I end up with, I end up with those two parts glued onto the side of there. Um, and and again, the shuttle's really taking, really taking shape now. Um, it just feels really sturdy. I'm really happy with that. So um, the next thing we want to do Okay, you'll notice uh, on this sheet over here, there are a couple of little extra bits here. Okay, I'll just pop those out to show you what they are. And it just says console. Um, and again, this is totally an option. And as you can see, there's a little console just on the inside of here. And there's one on the other side as well. And it's just an extra bit of cool detail that you can, that you can do uh, to add some extra cool stuff inside. Um, you know, why these are drying on the bottom, if you want to, you can just grab some glue and very carefully pop those in there. Okay, uh, really simple. It's, they're not needed, they're just a really cool option. Okay, so while, while those are drying on the side, um, I will basically show you how to um, put the, uh, the little vent on the top of your roof and then we'll do the wings. Uh, and again, this is a, this is an option. So we're going to bend this down here like that. Uh, a little bit more pressure on there. I didn't put enough pressure on that. I bend that's quite a tough tough bend here. So you really have to put the pressure behind here. Okay. And with this one, once you're down, you can really almost kind of just snap it right back. A lot of pressure on the fingers to get you that little that little ninth degree. It's because this is such a thin part, you don't want a huge jet sticking up at the top. So you do have to put a lot of pressure on there, like so, um, and like that. Get a good old squeeze and then bring it back. That's really cool. Um, and then these little parts under here will go onto the bottom there. Uh, and again, you can stick those at a little bit of an angle if uh, to get them as flush as possible. Pretty much put them anywhere inside that you like. Um, so I'm just going to do that really quickly. So there you go. Just popped in there at an angle so that everything's nice and flush on the bottom of there. Um, and then you're going to want to put it on your roof. Now, you'll see here that the roof will only go on in one particular direction. Okay, so having it this way round, okay, you can line up the little slots on the side, okay, to make sure that that fits on here. You then want, there's a texture on here, so you want, you then want the kind of the longer area here, you want the textures flowing back to look like it's had like drag on it, and then you can stick it on the roof. So I'm then going to stick that onto there like so. And then basically you can see that I can still slot that onto the top of here, which is really cool. And there's a little lip just on the top of there that if you put it up close and you've got your bends in here right and stuff, it'll help to keep that part of your um, cockpit closed as well. Sometimes I use a little bit of blue tack in there just to keep it closed. Um, but uh, other than that, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's your little roof part there. So what about those wings? Here we go. Here's the wings. So let's pop those off. 
Um, you have got your car, there's, there is a cargo crate on here as well, uh, because I had room for that. Um, but you, we've already showed you how to assemble that, so I'll ignore that. They are going to fit onto here like so, and you've got these little slots on the side, which enable them to slot in. And you can see that is basically your shuttle done already. But what we're going to do, we're going to add some raised detail in here like we've done on here. Again, it's an option, you don't have to have it, um, but we're going to add the raised detail on here just to give those wings that even, even cooler than cool uh, look. So I'll bring this in. So we've got a little disc, we've got two discs. One's going to go on here and we're going to glue that one on there. We've then got these little bits here, um, which we're going to glue one on there and we'll glue one on there. And actually these two extra ones, we're gonna glue the same, but underneath. But we want this cool ring detail to be on the top. That's it, so there's your wings. And you can see on here, there's some really cool detailing. You've got these little flaps that you can pop down. Okay, like that, which uh, just adds extra cool detail. Um, and if we bring this over here, we can slot those on. And we can slot that on the other side. Do -do 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 and we can stick our, I think this is the right chair, we can stick our chair in there. Bum -ba -dum -bum. We can close that up like so that forward okay and there you go this is your super super cool shuttle yeah cockpit view okay so that is the tutorial for making your shuttle out of those two sheets put that in your games for just all sorts of crazy fun and it's just look really cool anyway um, but yeah there you go the core space shuttle thanks very much and happy gaming